are not there. There are people that while others are celebrating people, they are busy criticizing the king. If you see what God did during the service, how that thing happened, if you see the praise worship, who led the praise worship? Oh, his sister Ngozi. I just mentioned Ngozi. As soon as you hear that name, Ngozi, your spirit jumps. Why Ngozi again? It will be Ngozi again. For as long as you are embittered against others, you are not rejoicing at the progress of others, you will never progress yourself. There is something on the inside of you that is working against the will, the plan, and the purpose of God. And there are some, I call them elder brothers. I think I need to add elder sisters now. When they see new people coming to the church, and the, the grace of God is in their life, the hand of God is in their life, they gave their life to Christ, they are zealous for God, they are committed to God, they are devoted to God, and God begins to use them, the elder brothers and the elder sisters, they are mad. They are unhappy. They are sorrowful. Make yourself available. Didn't God tell Abel, sorry, tell Cain that if thou hast gone on well, wouldn't God has accepted your sacrifice? You are sacrificing, but your sacrifice is unacceptable. Abel sacrificed the best of the sheep. And God said, yes, I accept it. And the brother was sad and so Are you Mrs. David? Since we don't know the last name of David, I'm talking about Micah, the daughter of Saul, the wife of David. She saw the husband dancing and rejoicing because the man was happy that the ark of God has been out for too long. Now, after many years, all through the days of Saul, the ark was without, and now the ark is coming back, and the man forgot the post and the title and the position of the king. The, all the man could see was just the glory of the Lord and the beauty of God and the power and the excellency of glory, and the man was rejoicing in the Lord. And Micah looked through the window. Look at how you disgrace your son. And you dance shamelessly before those vile women. And David said, I am dancing before God who prepared me over and above your father. Pay attention. That utterance was not just mere utterance. It was spiritually bad. Because the Bible said, for that thing, the woman became barren for the rest of her life. So stop despising people. You saw the choir sing. Do you know how much time they committed to singing, to practicing? And they want to sound something out. And all of a sudden, it's like something like cockroach is in their throat. And the king will not come out the way they wanted it to come out. And in the name eh? And the judge is sitting right there. You already marking their paper. See how that paper. Amen. Like Pelosi told that eh? it's useless. When your sister, your brother comes down, find a way to get to them and let them know we appreciate you. 
We know how you felt, but you did your best. Make them feel happy. Make somebody feel like wanting to serve again. Amen? You know, I like some people in this country, not everybody, but some people, that just for you making the efforts, no matter your performance, they still come and appreciate you. They still try to cheer you up. They lift up your spirit. Yes, everybody is looking for a winner. But you will win one day. Practice makes perfect. Are we communicating? The Lord will help you. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the miracle worker. Jesus, the Redeemer. Jesus, the Savior. Do you know what? He got to his own people and the Bible said he couldn't perform much miracle. Why? Mark chapter 6 verse 3, then they scoffed. He's just a carpenter. The son of Mary. I'm reading from the New, New Living Translation now. And the brother of James, Joseph, Judas and Simon, they knew all the family, family members. And his sister lived right here among us. They were deeply offended and refused to believe in him. Then Jesus told them, a prophet is honored everywhere, except where? In his own hometown. And among his relatives and his own family. And because of their unbelief, he couldn't do any miracle among them except to place his hands on a few sick people and heal them. Pay attention, please. Many a times, pay attention, please. I'm, I'm serious now. You know the people that have the most problem in our churches, they are pastors' families. Are you listening to me? You know, a lot of children that are not blessed the most in our churches are pastors' children. Because they are the ones, they know the pastor is my father. The pastor's wife knows him, he is my husband. Is he not the one that picked a, a drumstick of chicken, put it in the mouth, and then brought out the bowl and brought it? Why the man is preaching and calling the name of Jesus? And somebody, somewhere, somewhere in the congregation is calling it. And the people is up to this other day. Why? 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 Why?
not told to preach a sermon. Elijah was never told to go and heal the sick. All through the days of Elijah. And yet, when the man said, time to go, Elijah said, I will not go except I go with you. You will not go except I go with you. Stay back in Jordan. No, Elijah, Elijah, I will not stay back. I'm going with you. God has sent me to Jericho. Elijah, I have been with you all this while. I'm going with you to Jericho. That man was looking for something. He got it. What you are looking for, you will get it. I said what you are looking for, you will get it in Jesus' name. The sons of the prophets were there. The sons of the pastors were there. The children and the family of the ministers, they were there. They were even the ones telling Elisha, Elisha, don't you know? They even had the revelation. They knew Elijah was going, but they did nothing about him. And don't you know that the Lord is going to take your master off your head to go today, today? And Elijah answered them, ah, Yes, I know, but hold your peace. Listen to this, listen to this. If you are trying to do something, you don't look at the pastor's children. You are trying to do something. You don't look at the pastor's wife. You are trying to do something. You don't look at the pastor's family. Eh? You fix your eyes on the Lord. I will lift up my eyes unto the heat. From whence cometh my head. My head come from God. If someone had looked at Eli and the children of Eli, he would have missed the time of his coming, of his visitation.
Yeah, yeah.